How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel here i've got the all new galaxy s25 ultra and in today's video i'll be showing you some of the best tips tricks and hidden features that will help you get the most out of your brand new samsung flagship smartphone guys even though i've got the ultra variant with me these tips and tricks that i'm about to show you will also work for the galaxy s25 and the s25 plus With that said, I'm sure you're going to learn a lot of useful things from this video, so make sure you watch it until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. First things first, all the Galaxy S25 phones come with One UI 7 out of the box, and even if you have already used a Samsung device in the past, things might look different when you first boot up your device because One UI 7 has a lot of visual changes. To open the quick settings, you need to swipe from the top right corner. and swiping from the left shows all the notifications this is something brand new in one ui 7 and if you just tap on the pencil icon you can rearrange the tiles as per your need so if you want you can place the brightness slider above the quick toggles or you can increase or reduce the number of rows that you want to appear for quicker access so each and everything here is fully customizable if you click on the panel settings you can choose between two different layouts Together option will give you that old quick settings along with all your notifications in a single swipe. Then there is an option that lets you access the quick settings from the left side. So this is the all new control center you get on this phone. Next, let me show you a couple of home screen customization. Did you know you can now enlarge folders to directly open notifications in one click without having to open the folder first? You need to long press and you get the option to enlarge any folders that are present on your home screen. Not only this, you also get plenty of new and useful widgets in One UI 7, and the best part is it lets you resize widgets in different sizes. You can make it as big as you want, or change it into a pill shape to make your home screen look less cluttered. If you go into the widget section, you can see all the new and redesigned widgets that I think look really good. Moving on to the edge panel, we do get some new options here, and the first one is called AI Select. This basically recognizes your phone screen which you are looking at and provides you with a set of tools based on the requirement. For example, when you are watching videos on YouTube or any other video platform, it gives you video related options like you can create a GIF or share it to your friends and do lot more. Similarly, if you are looking at the pictures, it provides you with options like setting it up as your wallpaper, saving it to your notes or extracting any text from that particular image. So depending on what you're looking at it shows all the options and you can easily access the AI select feature from the edge panel whenever you want to. Then we have now brief which actually bring up the briefing for that time of day. It shows the weather forecast, your schedule, task or reminders you have set up for the day and this can be personalized as well. Simply go into settings then to Galaxy AI. Here when you scroll down you will get now brief settings and you can simply select content to show. Then you can decide which type of content to show in your now brief. There are a lot of different categories to choose from. There is health and wellness, travel, task, routines, communication, traffic updates, news, YouTube shorts and more. You will be notified about this 3 times a day, morning, afternoon and evening. Guys, there are 3 ways to quickly access the now brief. You can get it from the edge panel or set it as a widget in the home screen. It also appears in the now bar during a specific time. Now since we are talking about now bar this is something which Samsung has introduced with One UI 7 when you play any music on your phone you can see the now bar in the lock screen with music controls when you tap you get a bigger preview with the album art and i think it looks really cool on the lock screen it also works for other activities like voice recordings timers maps Bixby routines and it even shows the live football scores as well. So you can swipe over different activities and the best part is it also shows up in the status bar. You can configure the now bar settings by going into the lock screen and AOD. Select now bar and here you can choose what type of activities to appear in your now bar. Then we have something called drawing assist. We get a brand new interface where we have three different options. We can draw something or we can just add any image from the gallery or you can just give a text prompt to describe what you want to create and the AI will create it for you. You can input your thoughts and the AI will generate a beautiful image for you. There are different effects you can choose from. We have watercolors, illustrations, pop art, sketch, 3D cartoon and oil painting. So you can draw anything or give a text prompt, then choose the effect you want and the AI will beautifully transform your imagination into a visual masterpiece. 
You can also upload pictures from your gallery and give an artistic effect to it with the help of AI. There is another useful AI feature which I wanted to show you. If you go into Galaxy AI and scroll down, here we have something called Audio Eraser. This basically helps you eliminate background noises in videos by adjusting the volume of different kinds of noises like the wind, vehicle sounds and more. You can play any video from your gallery and tap on this AI button. It will take a few seconds to recognize the background noises. You can see we've got a couple of options here. We can adjust the wind noise, background voices and any other noise present in the video with the help of AI. So you can easily adjust these sounds by using different sliders and it can be extremely helpful if you record a lot of videos on your smartphone. When you long press the side button, we usually get Bixby on most Samsung devices. But this time with the S25 series, we now have both Gemini and Bixby. Galaxy AI will smartly wake up the assistant which suits the best and perform that specific task in a more efficient way. So most of the time it will be Google Gemini but you might get Bixby as well. The best thing is that they have well integrated Gemini Assistant into all the system applications. You can ask Gemini to create a task or add an event to your calendar or copy something from the notes app and share it via email. You can do lot more with the help of Gemini. You can even smartly search anything inside the phone settings or in your gallery. As you can see if I give a voice prompt, it instantly shows all the related settings which can be useful for me. So the AI on this phone is quite powerful and I would suggest you to start using it more often. Another favorite feature of mine is the circle to search which we are getting in most Android flagship devices these days where you just need to press and hold on the navigation bar to quickly search anything in Google. You simply tap or circle over the object and it instantly shows the information related to that specific thing. Again a very useful feature which will save a lot of your time and effort. Guys, I'll suggest you to enable the writing assist feature by going into the Galaxy AI. This helps you organize and improve the typing experience on your smartphone. You can use the writing tools to check your grammar. You can change the writing style, make it more professional, polite or social and it also helps you translate messages into different languages. The writing assist will definitely make your life a lot easier. So make sure it is already activated on your phone. You can also customize the app drawer. Now Samsung lets you choose between the vertical or horizontal view. Just tap on the three dots button and change the order from custom to alphabetical. Now you'll have access to the vertical app drawer which we all have been waiting for on a Samsung device for a long time. In case if you're not comfortable with this, you can go back to the horizontal view by selecting the custom order. Next, if you talk about lock screen customization, when you long press and unlock your phone, you get some brand new clock faces to customize your clock. You can change the color adjust the thickness and there are some animated clocks they have added in One UI 7. So you can customize and choose whatever you like. And if you don't have enough time for all this, then you can simply click on this suggestion tab and the AI will automatically redesign and change the look of your lock screen. You get three different styles, just select the one which you like the most. Next, let me show you a couple of camera features. When clicking pictures on your smartphone, you get various different filters. When you click on it, they are actually fully customizable. As you can see, after applying the filter, you can adjust the strength, color temperature, contrast, saturation and more. So these filters are fully customizable and you can play around with it when capturing beautiful pictures. Similarly, I will suggest you to record videos in Pro mode. Not only do we get options to adjust the ISO, white balance and shutter speed, but this phone can also shoot log videos which you can later color grade and get the highest possible quality from your recorded videos. It's like raw mode for video recording. Guys, when shooting videos, we now have a slider to smoothly zoom in and zoom out without any jitter or lag. So this is again something new which is currently available on S25 devices. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.